So this is the six tumbler or cup turner that we just built. And we ordered the motors off Amazon and it come with these switches. And I've just kind of put all the wires in there. I made the top cut out around where it makes it look a little neater. Nothing fancy. But if anybody's needing to build one, I reused the circles that I cut out for the motors because I needed to stick these out a little bit further so I could get that open enough to where you could stick a hand in there if you wanted to with cups drying because if you had to there is a multi plug port right there and you could reach in there and flip that button off but it was pretty simple to build all the lumber I bought was six foot already cut to that length so I didn't have to do a whole lot of cutting and basically just screwed everything together and I'm fixing to put some cooling fans on each end to keep those motors nice and cool but Ashley's fixing to uh, start using it she's been using a single and we decided to go ahead and build a big one so I'm not sure how I like these. They fit in there pretty tight. Hopefully they'll loosen up as it's used. And I put drawer roller, double roller clasp underneath the PVC. And you can adjust it up and down depending on you know where it's going to need to be. And we're going to find out how well they ride on those rollers. They was out. They had a bigger roller. But they was out of the bigger roller, so I just got all small ones for now. And if they don't work, I'll get bigger rollers. Those were like 98 cents a piece. But we'll get some footage of it being used. So this cup right here has been um, coated with alcohol inks. Um, I um, swirled it. It's been dried, it's been cured, and I've sanded it, and now I am fixing to add a layer of epoxy, and I'm going to add this glitter, which matches this blue in the cup to pull it out a little bit. So, stay tuned. Okay, so I am currently mixing up some epoxy. The brand I'm using is KS Resin. And I'm using the liquid art and what I'm going to do is mix this all up coat this all real good because I've already sanded it and sanded it and I want to get it back to the glass finish that epoxy gives it um, and then I'm going to add some of this glitter and drizzle it at the very end so that the glitter doesn't cover everything, but you do get some of the glitter.
So I have added glitter to the epoxy. So it looks like this. It's kind of the same blue that's here in this. And what I'm wanting to do is just take this and randomly drizzle it. And see as it spins, it's kind of flattening out and it will continue to do that the longer it spins. Alcohol bath. using the new turner that we made. Working just fine. <laughs> 